It's Sustainability Saturday. You know what this reminds me of? What? When I was a kid, we used to have Captain Planet. Saturday mornings. We used to save the planet. Aww. Yeah, it is Planeteers. So we're Captain like, Planets. Yeah, superheroes. We're concrete superheroes. So, um, having a little head cold. Destiny woke up at 4 a.m. or 4.30 with what we think is strep. Um, so Sustainability Saturday, the question was, what do you think are the largest contributors to the carbon footprint of concrete? Was that, is that, is it, ding, um, it, it, was that the question? Um, not necessarily. Okay, please, enlighten us. Just, I want to talk about different factors that contribute to concrete's carbon footprint right. that people might not realize. Right, so let's talk about concrete raw materials birth to concrete death. death. Right, so along the entire spectrum of that life cycle, mm -hmm. there are a number of carbon pr footprints. And we can start at the raw materials. Getting the raw materials, the limestone, the gypsum, uh, and whatever other bells and whistles, it takes certain explosive equipment or mining equipment. So there is a certain carbon footprint associated with, you know, the equipment used to yank that out of the ground, even getting the equipment to the job site, even clearing the job site. Then there's the dust, and then cleaning the dust really has a certain carbon footprint to it as well. And you're tearing down mountains. That doesn't necessarily have a carbon no, footprint, but, but the trees that are removed, yeah. they have a carbon reduction footprint that we have to take into account. So they could re they could have removed a certain amount of that and now they can't because they no longer exist. And normally those areas that are reclaimed, they're not reclaimed into forests, they're reclaimed into... No, no, they're reclaimed into like, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, water holes or lakes or stuff like that. So there's trees around but, you know, there used to be trees there. So then from that point you have the grading, uh, the, the crushing, the grading, the sieving, and then the transportation of the raw materials to the raw material manufacturer or the cement manufacturing. So I mean that in itself has its own carbon oh, footprint. Wow. Then you have the cycling of the materials through the different parts of the refining process and we unfortunately have to take calcium carbonate and turn it to calcium oxide. And to do that, we have to heat up those raw materials really, really hot. And when we heat them in a kiln, we... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, um, it's not release, it's... We liberate CO2 from that calcium carbonate to create calcium oxide. And that's just the inevitable reality that we have to go through to create from a non-reactive to a hydraulic material. So then we have that, then we have the transportation of the cement to the different stockyards, then we have the tra transportation of the cement from the stockyards to either your Home Depot, your Lowe's, or your ready mix providers. So there's the whole carbon footprint from the transportation. Then you have the use of it to make concrete, and again, we said raw materials for, for, what the heck? Raw materials for, <laughs> Um, the, the cement, but we also have the same thing for the aggregate, the rock, the sand, whether you're blasting it out and then crushing and sieving and cleaning it, or you do with that. Or we're going to do, uh, or grab the stuff out of riverbeds and we still have to go through some portion of that process and then transport it. So then you have to make the concrete and make the concrete, you have equipment that has to push out CO2. And then you have to transport that concrete to the job site and then... Water treatment. The water, water. treatment. Well, some water is recycled and we can theoretically use gray water, but there's a lot of water treatment, as you saw. Um, so, and then once the concrete dies, you got to break it up, which requires equipment, then you got to transport, which requires equipment, and then you got to landfill it, and the landfilling actually has a carbon footprint to it as well. So, wow. What that means, sustainable. <laughs> what that means is when we're doing our sustainability project, though, we have a large spectrum. If we have, let's just call it a uh, hundred tons, and I know this sounds stupid, I'm just saying this for math, but because of that whole system, for every one pound of concrete we make, we have a hundred tons of CO2 produced. 
That means for every one pound of concrete made, if we can reduce it to five tons of CO2 produced. We reduced it by 95%. What did she just say? We reduced it by 95%. One more time? We reduced it by 95%. Can I get a Joe DeBucci? No, that, that's the whole point of our project. It's not just to reduce what's going on with the concrete or just the cement. It's the entire process. And something that's exciting about all those things that contribute to the carbon footprint is that all of those are room for improvement. There is room for improvement. It's a, it's, it's a global effort for a, a, a global effort for a localized impact on the concrete. And of course, it's a, it's a, a long-term, a legacy project that we have here, because this is not really for us. If we were the last ones on the planet, then who would really care about? Well, I guess we'd want to leave it for the planet. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. There's animals. Yeah, there are animals. Well, let's say all the animals were going to die too. Everybody's going to die, right? Would this matter as much? No. No. It would still matter. Though. Yeah, but we have kids to worry about. We got to leave a better place for them. We got to show them how to do it. You don't seem very excited today about that. I'm just tired. Yeah, we had a long day yesterday. We did our seminar. Mm, we had to smile a lot. Mm -hmm. and, and I've been working like So, yeah. Uh, hopefully you learned something. Probably should have drank some coffee. Yeah, That's sorry. The, yeah, well, who's the director? Had, that was nice. Nice day was yesterday. National nice day was yesterday. So I was. So today really he's nice. deciding to bring out all his not nice. No, 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 no. I was really nice yesterday, and I think because I was really nice yesterday, you feel like it's. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just so cranky and tired right now. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, ding that bell for notifications. Go concrete. Better.